sitting out on a terrace. Inspecting jewels whilst dragonflies in all their minute detail hover around, lapping water at the front with these palm leaves in the background. It's a very expressive painting. In our Indian and Islamic week, we're very privileged to be handing the sale of the collection of Sven Gailin. This is 157 lots of fantastic Indian painting from the Deccani, Mughal, Baharin Rajput courts, and also some painting from a period of the British Raj in the 19th century, as well as a collection of objects including carved ivories and some lacquer objects and daggers. Whilst old master drawings have been the profession of Sven Gailin, his lifelong passion of Indian painting is what constitutes the collection that we're selling. And many of these paintings have unbroken chains of provenance back from the 18th century right the way up until now. But many of them haven't been seen on the market since he first bought them, largely in the 60s and 70s. Our cover lot is a fantastic Deccani painting of a prince riding with a falcon on horseback galloping through a landscape. And this featured in Mark Zabrowski's landmark 1983 book on Deccani painting. And this painting hasn't been seen on the market since it was bought by Sven Gardin in 1965. Another example of an important painting from the later period in the sale is a panoramic view of Alwa. Minute detail in fantastic condition. It's a real tour de force of 19th century Indian painting. And what's interesting about this as well is its provenance because we know actually from the original frame it belonged to William Beckford, the great collector who lived at Fonthill Abbey. And William Beckford dispersed of most of his collection in the house in 1823. So we have a superb line of provenance up till the present day. One of my favourite paintings in the sale is attributed to Rai Venkachelam and it's a painting of the ruler Man Mali Saif al Mulk inspecting jewels. It's a fantastically languid scene of a, a hot evening in the Deccan. This is one of the paintings which really has great condition, great quality and a fantastic provenance. I think what's most exciting for a lot of collectors and institutions, museums as well, is that many of these paintings are as a rediscoveries. Many won't have been seen for decades, some not at all. It's really very rare to be able to offer a collection of this kind of select quality.